What's up divas and divos? It's your girl April. So it is Wednesday and by the time, well it's Tuesday really, but by the time you guys get this, it will be a Wednesday. So of course you guys know divas and divos. Special shout out, love to my friends, my dear friend Kenny. So I love him so much and make sure you check out his YouTube channel. We'll post it for you guys below. So yes, you guys already know it's Gemini month. Um, cancers are included as well in this. Okay, shout out to you guys. So it's Gemini month and with that being said, y'all already know. Listen, I already told y'all last month that um, the month of May was not my month. Okay, because... I really did have a lot going on in that month. I, seriously, I had too much going on that I really didn't want to go through with my teeth and everything. So, I know, okay, so I'm going to explain this to you guys right now. The rest of this video, I'm going to do a few minutes which in this video where you can see me, like visually see me. But the rest of the video, I'm just going to put a picture up because, okay, listen. For real talk, you really don't have to look at me because it's not a tutorial or anything like that. You can just listen. You can drive to work. You could be at work and you can just listen to me. You really don't have to see me. But for this particular real talk, I feel really, really uncomfortable right now. Um, and I'm going to just explain to you guys why and I'm going to show you guys. Let me just put on my tiara for the beginning of this video. Okay. So, I'm going to show you guys why I feel really uncomfortable, okay? So, and I know you guys are like, you got your... Listen, I'm going to tell you guys why. So, Saturday morning, it was probably like 4.30ish in the morning, which was Saturday morning. I was driving back from the strip club, okay? Now, I wasn't going to get no dancers or anything. I was picking up my daughter because she works there. Now, you guys can think what you want. You don't have to be a dancer at a strip club. You can be a bartender. You can be a bouncer, you can be a waitress, you can be customer service, you can be the door girl. You can also be a house mom, you can also be an assistant in the office. It's not like a little janky place, it's a really, really high-end one. So, you know, you're not just a dancer. But either way, it's not really none of you guys' business, it's her job. So, uh, I pick her up some days, sometimes she takes Uber or Lyft. So some mornings I'll pick her up. And I like to pick her up because we get to talk and stuff like that. And my daughter is 21 years old, so we get to talk and have conversations, just me and her. So when she came out, she had, um, you know, the styrofoams. She had some wing dings, which was mild, because the bitch don't fuck with anything too hot. And she had um, some wing dings and some french fries, and I was starving. I was like, what you got, girl? And so she showed me. So as we was driving back home, she, you know, she, we was eating the chicken wings. So the very first one, where is this little bag yet? Hold on. I don't even need the fucking baggie because it's irrelevant right now. But I just want you guys to see it. But where the fuck is it? It doesn't even matter. I don't know where the fucking baggie is at because I was holding on to this motherfucker. But anyway, so I bit into the chicken wing as I was driving her home. I didn't bite the bone or anything, but I just bit into the skin because it was one of the drumettes. You know what I mean? It wasn't like the the ones with... I hate the little wing parts. You know, the little wings, like the wing things. Not the drum... I like the little drumettes that look like drumsticks. But I don't like the little wing parts that have the two bones. Because I don't feel like you get any meat in those. So it wasn't that one. I try to avoid those as much as possible. Even if it's somebody else's food. I'm trying to avoid that shit. So I bit into it. This is probably like the third bite. Or second. Um... Why did my motherfucking temporary tooth break off into the piece of chicken? I was like, Tati was like, what's the matter? Is it too hot? Because I don't like hot food, spicy food. I was like, no, look. My temporary tooth, because you know, you guys, I have, I had got my teeth shaved down. And I'm pretty sure you guys seen it. I got my teeth shaved down so that I could have my crowns. So I had to wear temporary teeth until June 15th, this coming Thursday, when my crowns come in. It broke the fuck off, okay? I was so upset because, for one, it's a Saturday. For two, the only office of that dentist that is open on Saturday is another office, but they don't do stuff like that. It has to be, like, a real emergency, and they have to make those temporary teeth for you. They have to make them. You have to stay with the mold in your mouth for them to fit. So there was no way for me to get my tooth fixed, and so that's why I didn't record any videos this Saturday. And so now my mouth really looks like, I feel like a hillbilly redneck in the outbacks of Mississippi talking about, what's up, nigger? 
Hey, nigger. Like, seriously stressing the R at the end of the word. Like, I'm going to let y'all see what my mouth looks like. And you probably really can't see it from video as I'm talking because, you know, my lips are not that thin. But I just feel so self-conscious right now. And I have been out in public and I'm like, Tati, why you let me talk to people? Like, okay, so look. Now, mind you, I have two. I had two temporaries in the front and now so it's tuesday and i could have called them monday and got it fixed but the dentist office that i go to is not open on monday they don't open back to tuesday and so if i'm getting my teeth my temporary teeth fixed on um you know what holds on let me call you hold on for suncoast dental i'm gonna call the dentist while i'm on the phone with you guys because so this is my dentist office that i speak to all the time Thank you for calling Suncoast Dental. This is Crystal. How can I help you? Hey, Crystal. It's April. Hello. How are you? I'm kind of pissed off. Why? Okay, so Saturday, my tooth came out. Um, one of your crowns? My temporaries, because, you know, I don't come in until Thursday, so I have been walking around with no tooth in the front. Oh, Dr. Greenberg's is surprise on Saturday. Did I you call? No, because I think that, like, um, Gabby had to make those temporaries, and I didn't, like, I was like, oh, man, I didn't. No, they can usually just kind of glow them back in. If they're not no, no, funny. it was, wanna, it broke. Control? It broke oh, and uh, came out. Do you want to come in um, today or tomorrow? Well, my crowns come in on Thursday morning, so I was wondering, are they in early so I can get them put in tomorrow? Hold on, let me see. Alright. When are you supposed to come in? Thursday at 8.30. Thursday at 8.30, which means they're probably going to be here tomorrow oh. afternoon. Oh. They're not here yet, though. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I didn't want to, like, because she's going to have to cement it in and do all of that. And, uh -huh. and she's going to have to make it because it broke. It didn't, like, fall out. No, front teeth are so hard because anything you eat. I mean, biting down, it can just even yeah. grind your teeth, that kind of thing, you know? Yeah, and I was like, well, I don't, it's Saturday, I'll just stay in the house, and then it's, <laughs> it's <so> Thursday. <laughs> I just, I was like, I just won't do no videos, and I didn't want her sticking no needles in my mouth to put it back in, all of that extra stuff, so I was just like, I'll just wait till Thursday, but I was just maybe thinking, like, maybe it came in a day early or whatever, and I'll come in it's tomorrow. But. it comes in tomorrow, because it should be here tomorrow, if um, usually like in the afternoon. Okay. You want me to call you so you can just come in tomorrow? If you don't mind. No, I don't mind. I'll call you as soon as they come in. Okay, I'll, I'm available anytime, so I appreciate it. Okay, no problem. So I'll call you um, as soon as they walk in the door. Thank you, dear. All right, no problem. All right, hon, you have a good night. You too, bye. Bye-bye. So, as you guys can see, they're super nice. Um, and like she said, it... We could just put it back in if it popped out, but it didn't just pop out. It broke. So, I have been walking around like this since Saturday. And I'm like, when it happened in the car with my daughter, I was so embarrassed. Like, my daughter was like, it's just me, it's just me. But, okay, like I said, I feel like a hillbilly. So, like, I don't really care because I know somebody is going to say some dumb shit in the comments about my teeth. I've already heard that. I've, I've not even heard it, but I've already read it in several comments. Like, you know, I think people like try to jab at me. Like, you know, I think that's like some people's comeback to me, unfortunately, in like recent videos that I have done. Um, my video for um, my half up ponytail, um, half wig type of thing. <laughs> tutorial for the other day you know somebody had the nerve like not even the nerve but just she just felt the need I guess she wanted my attention she wanted me to mention her attention just to, to say something to her she's like an attention seeker you know she 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 made it her business to let me know that she unsubscribed to me and with this long paragraph in capital letters you know when you do caps it's like you're shouting at somebody so she not only put it in that hair tutorial she put it in two other videos she copied and pasted it so like she felt the need to seek attention and I told her you know oh well I guess you accomplished something because I'll never get these two minutes of my life back but she just kept basically going back and forth with me all motherfucking day 
and sometimes like listen I'm a petty person I can be very petty especially if I don't have anything to do if I'm bored so like normally what I do is I just block you and I'll delete your comment uh, I don't really care you know what I'm saying but then there are some days that if you catch me and I'm in a bad mood or I don't have anything to do like boredom a boredom strikes or like you fucked with me when I had this issue then it's like okay well bitch you you talking shit now and my tooth just broke off and fell off and shit so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just keep coming for you I'm gonna just keep coming for you so I do I do get petty like that at times where I just feel like you know what since you started I'm gonna keep going with you and I'm gonna keep going so for the day of Saturday I just kept fucking with her cause she kept running her mouth and shit and um so they're like you know my my divas and divos were on here talking shit back to her one of my divas even found out the bitch which bitch work at okay which is amazing like wow the power of the internet but you know she she took a jab at me she just was basically like well I just got off of working 40 hours and I'm a dent and for working a uh, from working a job a real job as a dent for dental insurance okay so that I said is that your jab at me because you you took a jab at me by telling me you work at dent for dental insurance like bitch please suck a dick okay <laughs> second of all suck a dick all right because you probably haven't in a minute that's why you so bitter so co suck two motherfucking dicks while you at it all right and it's like okay i laugh at it so that's why i say that i'm a petty person because i like when people are getting mad with me and they're writing to me as an internet thug would and you're like like and you're typing on the keyboard to me I find it hilarious and on the other ends of the keyboard I'm reading this and I'm either reading it on the computer or on my phone and I'm typing shit to you but I'm laughing my ass off at the same fucking time because you're getting mad but on me on the other end I'm getting kicks and giggles out of it because I find it to be hilarious you know what I'm saying and so you know she was just like you know that was her jab for the day not even for the day she said that you know she got a real job and whatever whatever she worked for dental insurance but I was like bitch please dental insurance you're not corporate you're not corporate okay dental insurance is um, telemarketing I'm not motherfucking stupid now if you really want to talk about being corporate for insurance I guess the bitch failed to realize that I was in corporate world for 11 years as a senior VP for health insurance I didn't have to cold call nobody didn't have to answer no phones this is what I did for marketing for health insurance so I'm corporate but if you feel like that's corporate that's good for you whatever you do in life as your job as long as it makes you happy then cool so be it but don't take jabs at me come to find out the bitch works at a grocery grocery store okay I got the address and phone number and everything and like my diva found all this information out for me it was so hilarious and so I blocked her I, I blocked you Brie I had blocked you and then I had blocked her and I got kind of bored for the day so I unblocked her because I wanted to go keep going back and forth so this is what I'm talking about like sometimes I could be kind of childish and I will admit to that and I could be petty but I mean like if you start the shit with me I'm going to make it my business to finish with you and I just thought like her comment was basically like all caps like I wanted to let you I, I unsubscribed to you because of your real talk and blah 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 and she just kept digging at me and then she was like it's sad how she's like you don't oh do you do collaborations with other YouTubers or are you just one of those crab in a barrel type person it's sad how black people don't support one another so in the same paragraph that she pasted and copied on three videos she talked about how I'm a crab in a barrel how she unsubscribed to me because of the type of person that I am etc cetera, etc cetera, and how it's sad how black people don't support one another but I was like oh are we being hypocritical much and being a pot calling the kettle black because you are bashing me and starting with me and telling me you unsubscribe etc etc but at the same token you are talking about how black people don't support one another etc etc so I thought that was kind of weird and you know I just laughed it off and then you know I sent her some eggplants um she probably really wished that I would have sent her a dick okay because I just think that sometimes people are so bitter that they just need some in their life then you know what I'm saying you need either one but either way she's just really bitter and she just kept going back and forth with me for the day and she just was saying all kind of things about me about my teeth talking about my channel is boring etc but if you unsubscribe like I said to her if you unsubscribe why the fuck is you watching this video why is you still watching this if you unsubscribe like so you you watch this because you undescribe and she said things like you're you're 50 years old going on 60 doing a tutorial on a high low bun whatever first of all bitch I'm far from 50 okay I'm about to be 43 next Monday the 19th of June and um 
I could wear any hairstyle I want because I don't look my age. And second of all, like I had to say to her, bitch, I tangle with the best of them. Just because I'm about to be 43, don't fucking think, or I'm a grandmother, don't think that I can't tangle with the best of them. Like, it's just so petty how people are. Okay, I'm sorry. I had the setting like all way off and shit, okay? So now it probably looks like a different color. But it's just like really funny how people just always have something extra to say about somebody. And, you know, so it was just really funny to me. And that was how I spent my Saturday. And it's like, I think Saturday for me was fuck with April Day. Like, it was hashtag I don't eat muffins day on Saturday because it wasn't only just her comment, it was somebody else's comment. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So that was what my Saturday was like. I was being petty so yeah so and I was really upset I have not slept in like weeks seriously um I have such a bad um case of insomnia um because of my teeth and the medication that they put me on but also I have had a lot of ladies ask me to do a video on the pills that have been in my life making me lose weight and I did promise that video to be up this week so when I get my tooth fixed on Thursday I will have the video up for you this coming weekend okay I really just really feel more comfortable with my tooth fix um the reason why I'm doing this now is because this is real talk whatever and I don't have to look all great you guys don't have to really watch me so yes got me some new sunglasses so I got another tutorial coming up now, I ordered these from the company that wanted to send me some stuff. But why do I feel like right now, one of those old people that just came back from cataract surgery. Because they be having big glasses on like this. And now, now that's who the fuck I feel like. Like, what? Yes, bitch, I just had laser surgery done to my fucking eyes and I can't see shit. Okay, so let me show you my teeth. So, like I was saying, I was eating the chicken with Tati and my fucking tooth came out. So, I did try to pop it back in when I went home. But then I was like, why is it looking all jacked up like that? That is... It broke and popped in half. It broke and popped the fuck out. So, now... And I know some fucking lame-ass bitch that's watching this is probably going to screenshot it. And post it on social media like, look at her teeth. Oh, she's a snaggle puss mouth or whatever. Like, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because Thursday I'll have my new fucking teeth in, so I don't give a fuck. But it was it took a lot out of me to allow them to shave my teeth down. Um, but this is it. So now I got these two itty bitty fucking teeth right there, and I feel like a real snaggle puss mouth. Like you guys know that that little I don't know. I just feel like a hillbilly. Like, now I really feel like a motherfucking hillbilly on the outskirts of Mississippi by the swamp. I really didn't want you guys to see my mouth. I was going to put a picture up for the rest of the real talk so that way you guys couldn't see what I looked like or just see my mouth. But, you know what? I don't even give a fuck. Because, at the end of the day, I am who the fuck I am. And this is real fucking talk. And... You know, you don't have to watch. I don't give a fuck. Whatever lame bitch want to take a screenshot and post it on social media, then bitch, go ahead and do that shit, okay? But it is who it is, I, and I am what I am. And nobody is born perfect, so Jesus wasn't even born perfect, so... You know, it is what it is. So, anyway, before I even start Real Talk, um, I want to say... A special shout out and thank you to everybody who has been so sweet to send me all this birthday love um, that I got in the mail today. So I want to start off with um, just some thank yous real quick because I appreciate everybody. I got birthday cards and birthday soap so I can wash my funky ass with, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But So from Oil and Water, I want to thank you so much. This is in Span Away. She sent me a package. And she said Mumsy Boo one too. The name of her company is called Oil and Water. And it's a really good Verbena Beauty Bar soap. So coconut lime Verbena Beauty Bar soaps. And I love soaps like this. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh. I love soaps like this. Like I have been using soap lately more so than shower gels. And this is a nice big thick chunky pieces of soap right here. And I thank you so much, my love. And she also sent me a card. Aw. Hey, Miss Muffins. I just found your YouTube channel and you had me laughing so hard, which is hard to do. I make handcrafted organic coconut oil beauty bars. And I thought you might enjoy a few handcrafted beauty bars. So I'm gifting to you. No strings attached. Um, meaning you don't have to do a review. But, Emma, I want to tell you thank you. So, Emma J, thank you so much for this. Because I love stuff like this. Which was really cool because she sent some to Mumsy and 
Mumsy has really um, sensitive skin. Like, oh, thank you so much. It's oil and water soaps. We make beautiful bubbles. So I will definitely post her information below for you guys. So, um, I did get, oh my God, this humongous box. First, let me show the cards because I did get some birthday cards as well from my diva Angela Ross in Manchester. She sent me a birthday card. And this is so cute because it's from Pier Ones. I did not know Pier One Imports sends birthday cards. I didn't even know they had birthday cards in general. But it's so pretty because it's like a velveteen. Velveteen card with a wine glass because a bitch do like to drink. So I am so happy about that. I got birthday cards already. I'm about to put these up in my hallway so everybody can see. Hmm. So I thank you, my dear Angela. Also, I got a birthday card from Canada, okay? I've never got a birthday card from Canada. But did she write so hard? I laughed so hard when I heard how old you were. Because I know it's funny, right? Because I don't even look like I'm about to be 43. So I got a birthday card from Canada. So Stella... Um, Stella by Design, Stella Pasco, she sent me a birthday card, but she sent me a birthday card as well, so I do thank you, Stella. And then, okay, so this is the one that had me in tears today, I'm not going to read this to you guys, but Belinda and Jaden Rose, she sent me this for my birthday, this was so lovely, typed so well, and just the things that she said in it alone, um, I was crying when I read this because... It's just some things that she said to me in here about, you know, how I've helped her out a lot and things like that. And, like, I, I like to do real talk and I do share my own life experiences with real talk because, you know why? I, I have made a lot of mistakes in my life. Nobody is perfect, like I said. And I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. And that goes to be said that I'm almost 43, so nobody is perfect. And we all make mistakes. And, like, I try to share my life experiences in real talk because I want you guys to understand that I understand how you go through things and that I've went through them as well. And I want to let you guys know that I'm a relatable person. Don't think that I'm perfect. I'm not like anybody that has a silver spoon in their mouth or that I'm on here to, like, brag about anything that I may or may not have or just the person in general that who I am so like a lot of my life issues I've gone through a lot I'm a human being like you know what I'm saying and I'm not ashamed of that that's who I am that's who I am um and I don't have any friends um I do have friends but I kind of like more or less like to keep to myself I'm very selective of who the friends that I have and when I find you as a friend like my bestie Shay I love Shay love to death and like I tell you guys all the time you should watch her channel because she makes me smile all the time so I love Shay to death we have been friends since I have been on YouTube and sometimes we may not speak all the time but she still holds like this special place in my heart all the way because she's real like me and probably because she's a Gemini too so she understands me and I like that when somebody understands me and we have a lot of comments so I love her to death and we always friend um <coughs> even though sometimes I don't answer the phone when she calls because I'm not really a phone person she doesn't really take it to heart like that and that's the one thing that I love and appreciate about her so much so like when I find a good friend I find a good friend and I love them dearly and like you know you guys have known that I have had other friends from YouTube I had another best friend from YouTube I'm not gonna mention her name and or anything like that but I mean like if she's watching that's cool I, I still love her to death as well um I love her to death as well and you know hopefully in the future we will become friends again or at least cordial to one another because that's the type of person I am um and I never would want to end anything on a bad note but when I find you to be a friend you are a friend to me for dear life and so I know that for one um I can say, like, out of all the friends that I've ever had in my life, I think that, um, you know, some friends that I have called best friends, they really weren't. And then when you have to look back and you have to realize, like, you know what? You didn't consider that person, like, a bestie or a best friend back then, but you have to think about, like, wow, she, that bitch is ride or die. And that's how my girl Shay is. She's ride or die. And I miss her because I, I really wish that she was in the same state as I am. She's in the next state in Texas. And I really wish that we were in the same place because if we were in the same place i would probably be at her house all the time like bitch let me stay over let me stay over she probably like, take your ass home you know what i'm saying so like um it's really good to have like really good friends especially if you find one so you know what i'm saying when she wrote me this and she was just basically saying the things that i have shared i'm so transparent basically has helped her i you know what i'm saying i just try to help anybody and i just I, i'm not trying to front for nobody it is what it is you know what i'm saying it is what the fuck it is so when I went to my post office box, I had this huge box. And in the huge box, she had 
all kind of things in there for me and I was like in tears just from reading the letter but okay so she had boxes inside of this huge box so in this box right here oh my god okay I'm just gonna show you this big ass box you guys see this right it's fucking full of strip eyelashes okay full of strip eyelashes so she was like if you don't wear them pay it for it i know you and that is awesome because that's exactly what i'll do um and some of these are like really really fucking nice eyelashes a bitch might have to um i used to wear strip lashes so i might have to just go back to wearing strip lashes again because i'm saying oh these are gorgeous they're their hair i'm trying to get a focus in on them it's just a huge variety of lashes up in here. And I was just like, oh my God. This lip paint, okay. I didn't even read the note that was with it. I didn't even notice it. Okay. Oh, these ain't for me. Oh, Mumsy. I, I know Jaden wants to give you these, but I suggest you have your mom log, mom log onto YouTube and do a search for peel off lip gloss first. Your mom may not want you to wear this. Maybe around the house for fun, but just to be on the safe side, see what she says first. Uh, she, so she said, Mumsy peel off lip glosses. This is cute. And I would definitely let Mumsy wear them because she could wear these around the house. So she's got a nice variety. And what's so cool about it is these are girly colors. Oh my gosh. She sends headbands, um, like, you know, headbands bracelets necklaces moji necklaces i'm not gonna show you guys everything because it's so much she sent me this is, is this from maybe or is this from mumsy she sent this um so this is a picture of me and mumsy and it's one of those flash drives i'm thinking that there's a message on this so i'm going to have to plug this into my computer to find out but this is a recent video of me and mumsy and i'm pretty sure it was a dollar tree video but yes so i don't know what's on here but i'm going to find out be my my computer ain't gonna blow up right i'm just messing with you so she sent some really really lovely things in here and i just want to say thank you so much b i love it and you had me in tears and as well as thank you everybody for everything the cards the love everything so yes i want to thank you all for that because it was so nice anyway so yeah so if you have a real talk situation that you need to be talked about on real talk you can go ahead and send me an email to muffin is my lover 2012 at gmail.com please put in the subject line of the email real talk and if you want to change the names of those who were mentioned in this video you can go ahead and do so oh my god my phone let's get into this real talk hey miss april just want to say I fucks with you. You are so amazing the way you hold down your set. How you're super strong when it comes to doing your own thing. And I love your dollar store hauls with your youngest. She's so shy and you're not and, and you're not, it works out. And you know it works out like a, a real live show. Laugh out loud. I think of you like a fam, a favorite auntie in my head. I hope you can shine the light on my problem if it goes into a real talk or you just write an email back to me. Sorry if it seems long. So I've changed the name so you can call me Tammy and my dude Derek. And we have been dating for over five years and I feel as if he doesn't take me seriously. See, the backstory with us is that he is 25 years older than me and has totally lived his children's mother um and has totally lived his children's mother was a schizophrenic and his son was a gang member a gang member and was killed due to gang violence i love that he's older but either way i don't see age or race religion love is love in my eyes but back to the story i'm currently going to school for nursing i graduate with my bachelor's next year derek said when i graduate we should get married i don't know if he ever saw me graduating because i've been going to school for 10 years for various different things until i found my passion for nursing so now here we are time for graduation and he thinks like oh i don't remember that i don't remember saying he was gonna get married to me and i think i just said that when you went on a temper tantrum so what he means when he says i went on a temper tantrum basically me arguing with him he and i are the type who don't argue a lot but lately we have been getting into little spats because when i bring up the future he tries to get out of the whole conversation then when i bring up stuff like i'm talking to his lame ass ex about our problems that leads to arguments as well 
Like he takes her seriously and confines in her. But me, it's just I'm this cutie and he enjoys the time we spend together. And I should understand that the trauma that he's been through with his son dying and the fact that his children's mother is legit certifiably crazy am i being too sensitive or am i right and he doesn't take me seriously i just don't want to waste any more of my 20s um um which are flying by thank you so much for reading this and she's so pretty she's like this chocolate brown color she's pretty got nice full lips i wish my lips were like this okay she's very pretty very very pretty okay so Tammy. So basically, Tammy has been in a relationship. I wish she would have sent me a picture of her of her dude, see what his old ass looked like. But anyway, he's 25 years older than her. So I'm pretty sure he got some kids, if that, if if more, that are probably around her age. His other son, his one of his children died in um as a gang member because he, his son was a gang member and unfortunately he passed away he was murdered and that's very unfortunate but um tammy has been going to school for about 10 years and i guess he told her he did tell her that once you graduate from school from nursing we'll go ahead and get married we should get married so i guess he probably didn't take that serious because she'd been going to school for 10 years for various things okay and i guess he really probably didn't feel she was ever going to graduate so in my opinion he probably said this to her to shut her the fuck up, okay? That's just my opinion, okay? And now, since graduation has rolled the fuck around, he done lost his motherfucking memory. The nigga's age is catching up to him. He's got Alzheimer's. He don't remember fucking saying that shit. And every time she bring up the future, he probably changing the subject. He's talking to his baby mother, who's a schizophrenic. He's trying to rely on his son's gang member violence um, as a escape, as to not marry her. Let me tell you something, Tammy. And this is just my opinion. Love don't have an age. Love don't have a race, religion. It doesn't have any of those things. However, fuckery does. Okay? Now, when I say fuckery does, meaning ain't nobody got time for being fucked around, fucked with, fucked over, okay, fucked dry, fucking violated, or none of that bullshit, okay? So fuckery does have a fucking time limit. Fuckery does have discrimination, again, and fuckery is just some bullshit that I'm just not going to put up with. Now, here is my thing. I don't really give a fuck what age you are, but with older men, and I'm not going to say all of them, but it seems like to me some old old ass motherfucking men always try to keep up with the Joneses or keep up with time. Them motherfuckers do not want to fucking retire. They don't want to go in a time capsule. They don't want to sit their old ass the fuck down and act like they fucking old and they mature enough and do fucking what mature people do. They try to catch up and run after the young woman that is way younger than them because that is what makes them feel young and alive. Now don't get me wrong. I don't feel nothing wrong with if you are 50, 60, 70 years old and you're dating somebody that's 25 years your age so if he's 25 years older than her she's gotta be like probably, i'm not really sure how old she is but he's either in his late 50s or whatever because she looks like she's in her 20s so whatever um he's 25 years older than you you know old men they always they don't never lose no stamina i mean some of them probably do go limp but here's the thing with old ass men i'm really not attracted to them i don't really like no old motherfucking men because they just be set in their ways they're older they're set in their ways they've already been there and done did that they set in their ways okay and that's just unfortunate me i'm about to be 43 i'm set in my motherfucking ways okay so so, if I was to date somebody that was younger than me by 20 years or 25 years, you best believe I'm not going to go for the shit that he does because I've already done, been there, done that, and I'm really not into that, and I've already experienced that shit, so I'm not really trying to go backwards. So, I mean, it's nice to be able to date anybody of any age, race, whatever religion you may have in mind, but sometimes when you date somebody that's that much older than you, there's a big difference in a lot of things, and they just don't understand where you're coming from now if you want a future with him sweetheart you want to have a family you want to raise children and you just want to do future things keep in mind that like i said he is set in his ways and some of the things that you want to do he's either already done did them okay or he don't want to do them because of his age criteria okay 
I'm not going to say go out and find yourself someone younger, but what I am going to say is go out and find someone who ain't about the fuckery. He has a lot of drama in his life, and I'm sorry, but I really wouldn't want to date anybody that got gang members. Uh, Uh, I, me personally, I wouldn't want to date anybody that has gang members as their family members. I, cause I'm, I'm not a scary person, but I just, especially as your children, like I'm so apologetic, and I do feel really bad for him that his son has, uh, was murdered to gang members. Um, to me, it doesn't really matter how your children are murdered. If they are murdered, it's a hard thing to get through. It's a hard task. So I feel sorry for anybody who has lost their child, but. If you're going to use that as an excuse to not move forward with your life and to not move forward with your relationship, then that means that you're really not ready for a relationship. And just be honest to the person and let them know, listen, I don't want to be in a relationship. I don't want to get married. So in my eyes, Tammy, I really feeling like even though he's using his son as an excuse of why he doesn't want to get married or he don't remember that he said that to you then maybe he's not the one for you because nigga if you losing your motherfucking memory your mind you got alzheimer's now i'm gonna need you to carry on with your old ass and what if i were you like listen Men come a dime a dozen, so do women. There's always somebody out there for somebody the fuck else. However, a bitch like me is not about to put up with nobody in a fuckery. I don't give a fuck what age bracket your ass is in. I'm not going to put up with it. I'm not going to put up with the foolish list. And at that particular age, I would really hope for your sake that you don't have no fuckery and bullshit with you in life. Because you're too old for that. Grow the fuck up. Listen, Tammy, if... Derek ass don't want to motherfucking marry you today. And he's saying because of this and that reason, bitch, he's not going to want to motherfucking marry you tomorrow or next week or when his punk ass stop grieving over his son. He's not. If he's still confiding in his baby mama for shit, then what you need to do is carry your happy ass the fuck on to graduation and find just somebody who has graduated onto the early stages of maturity, okay? That's just my opinion. And also, if you are going to be talking with his baby mother or his ex or whatever about your problems, that's where the problem relies. Okay, because I, if I'm correct, uh, let's see. I, I do believe that you said that you speak to his ex. Okay, uh, when I bring up stuff like him talking to his lame-ass ex about our problems, that leads to arguments as well as he likes, he takes her seriously. Okay, so he talks to his ex. Okay, so. So he's been talking to his ex about problems that you guys have had. To me, I find that as like a huge, huge disappointment, but not only just a huge disappointment, but I find that as a huge lack of respect. If you are going to continuously speak with your ex about, why the hell isn't my thing working? About... about our situation, our relationship, then I find that to be disrespectful. Like I would never want my ex-husband to talk to his girlfriend or any, anything like that. I just, I just wouldn't feel comfortable in general talking to my ex about his relationship with somebody else. Like, listen, we broke up for a reason. I don't want to hear about that bitch. I don't even want to talk to you in general. So in my opinion, okay, so you're about to graduate if you not haven't already. In my opinion to me, like he's stuck in his ways. He's an older person. Um, majority of the time older men are always stuck in their ways they i think like to me in my opinion and, and and quote me if i'm wrong leave your opinion below if you feel like i'm wrong but i think like older men they always be trying to date or not always but when they date a woman that's like years and years and years younger than them in my opinion it feels like they be trying to date them to mold them to change them to make them the way that they want them to be because they're this older person and they automatically know like an older man knows so, like say for take me for example i'm about to be 43 
if an older man came up to me and tried to get with me, who would say like 45, he know already, look, I'm, I am who the fuck I am. You ain't about to try to mold me and make me into who the fuck you want me to be. Cause nigga, I already been there, done did that. You ain't about to change nothing the fuck about me, but it's easier for them. Some of them to manipulate a woman that's way young, like in her twenties, because they can manipulate them with money, gifts, all type of things. And this sometimes goes to a woman here like, oh, well, he loved me because he be buying me sneakers or shoes or dresses or give me money or gift cards. But when you cut an older woman like myself, it's like, boy, bye. Okay, who is you trying to fool with that bullshit? I can get my own shit. So, in my opinion, I think that some older men date younger girls because for one they feel they these younger girls make them feel more vibrant and alive with themselves and they don't feel so old two they feel like they can manipulate them and mold them into being what they want them to be which is very very unfortunate so if he's not trying to take you serious and this nigga got alzheimer's and he don't remember asking you to marry him after graduation the honey boo boo child it's time for you to move the fuck on and find yourself someone who is more serious regardless of the age you may think that older men are mature and they're wiser but a lot of the older men these days are a bunch of fucking children and don't know how to fucking act and those be the worst ones because they're trying to keep up with the youth and they're trying to still be young and in reality you look like a bunch of fucking assholes okay so meet tammy like i said fuckery has a time limit fuckery okay has an age limit i ain't fucking with nobody you're not about to pull the wool over my motherfucking eyes i'm not fucking with you if you are dumb and doing dumb shit so yes so in my opinion this is just my fucking opinion like you know what i'm saying like i just i i don't i don't really care what your age i mean though no, i'm i'm lying because if you're like in your 50s even though I'm 43, I don't really try to fuck with men that's in their 50s. Ever. Ever. Because I just don't find them attractive. Um, if you if you in your like, late 30s, then I might fuck with you. But if you're in your 20s, I'm definitely not fucking with you. Because I have kids that's 25 years old and stuff. So I don't feel right. I feel very uncomfortable because I have a son that's 25 years old. So I'm not trying to fuck with nobody who's 25. And I definitely ain't trying to fuck with you if you're 30. I mean, I just, I don't know. Everybody is different. Everybody is different. But for me, fuckery is not different. So if you're trying to fuck me over or you're trying to do some fuck shit to me, I'm just not fucking with you regardless of your age. If you're a friend of mine and you're trying to be fuckery to me, I'm not fucking with you either. So me personally, Tammy, I think like if you're just supposed to be like, you just more more or less supposed to be like arm candy to him. So when you guys go out, you he looks good because you look good. And then his old ass G friends can be like, oh, look at this old G with this young girl. He still got a pop. And like men like shit like that. This old ass nigga got this young girl on his arm. That's like a status for them. Okay. Like trust and believe it's a status for them. So it's unfortunate. And if he ain't really trying to take you serious, but he taking his, his ex serious, then you need to let that old ass motherfucker retire, take his old ass back to the motherfucking nursing home and say sayonara. Bye, Fernando. Bye. And that's just my opinion. So you can go ahead and give Tammy your opinion, but my opinion is what it is. Okay. Okay, so here goes on to the next one. And it's funny because I, I already... The way I do things for my real talk is I... I go through the ones that are, are first, okay? And so this one was labeled Real Talk, and it just popped up. I, I re-emailed them to myself. So anyway, hello. Well, first off, of all, how you doing? Have you, um, with a smiley face, have you been doing good? I hope so. Okay, so she's asking me a question. Okay, so I'm having some in-law issues. I've been with my husband for 15 years, been married for five, had two miscarriages because she said MC. So I'm thinking that means miscarriages. And at first, everything was fine and no problem with the in-laws. Then drama happened over the years. Then she didn't like me and sorry to say I felt the same. Mm, sound real familiar. So fast forward to 2015, drama happened between me and the husband. I didn't like how he was treating and acting towards me, so I left for like three or four months. So I decided to come back, of course, and we were trying to fix our problems and our issues in our marriage. Not even a month goes by and his mom and dad asked him if they could move in due to their financial situations and problems. 
I told my husband I don't know because of an on because of on we are because of one we are trying to fix us and we need time for ourselves. We don't need to add anything else to our drama. Referring to his mother. He told me it will only be for three months. They are waiting for the apartment to be cleaned out. I said, okay, I guess so. They moved in with their small dog. So me telling myself it's going to go by fast. Don't worry. Let's just do this. This is her talking to herself. Then a month goes by. Then he tells me that his brother and his girlfriend need a place to stay. They're getting kicked out of her mom and dad's. But they only need to stay for two months because it was bringing us drama. And so they left. So they only stay... Ooh. So, but now it has been a year and a few months for his mom and dad, and he's still there. Ever since I came back, my husband told me he doesn't want me to work, that he wants me to stay at home, relax, have babies. I said, okay, so now I've been taking care of myself, trying to. So what I'm getting at is, is there is no respect. I have said plenty of time, please don't put that there, or don't use this, or don't use that. This is where it is here. Common sense. We are all adults. Clean up after yourselves. Let me add in. If they were living somewhere else, they would not be doing this. It's just sad and it seems like it's okay. She and him should clean up and pick up after themselves. So a few months go by and I have cleaned my living room carpet with the rug doctor. I spent hours on it. It was a bitch. She was like, ugh, it was a bitch. Trust and believe, sweetheart, I know. Because I tried that shit one time. It took me like seven hours. Um, by the time you spent all that money on the rug doctor, you could just went and got your carpets clean. So I just be looking for specials. And I pay 85 bucks. I ain't got time for that. So I said to everyone, please make sure that your shoes are off by the door. Honey, I've done the same thing. I even got a sign taped to my front door. That shit don't help. I just did the carpets. Please keep your shoes at the front door. Nope. A week later, dirty, muddy from shoes and a dog. I was so freaking mad. And recently, I just got done deep cleaning the house. Kitchen, downstairs bathroom. The only thing that I had to do was vacuum. So I just decided to do it the next day because I was so tired after doing all of this. So I wake up and I go downstairs to the kitchen and I see dishes on the counter in the sink. Something was spilled on the floor, microwave dirty, wow. So I take a deep breath and I walk away. Why does she sound like me right now? As I do so, I glance in the downstairs bathroom. I see it a mess too. So I say, really, are you fucking shitting me? After all that cleaning, scrubbing I did the other day, this is what happens? Basically, okay, I had to make me a cup of coffee there is a lot more to this. I just basically can't deal with it anymore. I'm done. I'm done with the fake people, the fake conversations. I'm done with the stupid looks. Like, for real, she be giving me that look like, um, you know. I just want to throw my hands up and walk away from this. What should I do? Should I leave and move back in with my dad? Yes, I have talked with my husband. I have told him numerous of times about what is going on. I'm just done. I don't want to leave, but I don't want this life either. And it's hard, too. It's hard to get to be in the mood if you're not happy and you're arguing about what is going on. We only have sex maybe once a month, which means there ain't no baby making. Sometimes not at all. I just want him and not his family. I just want him to take away from everyone. I know that sounds selfish, but that's how I feel. I want a baby so bad and I'm not getting any younger. I'm about to be 33, okay? I don't know what else I can say. Please give me advice. Sorry to be a bother. I feel I can't talk to nobody else because I don't have no one else. Aww. We're going to call her Katie. That's fucked up. So Katie has been with her husband 15 years, married five. Her in-laws have moved in almost like a year and a half. They was only supposed to be there three months, but now the motherfuckers is still there. And to me, they're acting like they're my motherfucking kids. And I say this because I feel Katie's pain, okay? And this is literally, I have... A 21-year-old, a 19-year-old, a 15-year-old, a 10-year-old, and a 2-year-old in my house, okay? And two little dogs. And I will fucking clean, 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 clean. And I don't feel like there's any reason why I should come downstairs and there be dishes on the, in the, on the counter, dishes in the sink, and, like, whatever kind of juice on my counter. When when she, when I read this, I pictured my kitchen because I, I have been there so I have been there, like, 
three times out of the week, every fucking week, okay? I just cleaned the kitchen today. I cleaned the kitchen the other day. I get fucking tired of that shit. I, like, I, I be always saying to my kids, I pay 85% of these motherfucking bills up here because my other my kids have jobs too and they have to contribute. I pay 85% of the shit up in here. There's no reason why I should be doing dishes or I should be cleaning this and y'all can't fucking pick up after yourself. If you see this fucking juice spilled on the counter, you just can't wash it up. If you drop a piece of paper on the floor, you can't fucking pick it up. I hate shit like that. I fucking hate shit like that. Like, wash your motherfucking dishes. Who the fuck lets dishes pile up and pile up? Like, you just gonna keep using more dishes and more dishes and not fucking washing dishes, but you gonna keep putting shit in and then when one side of the sink is filled, you gonna go to the other side. Like, who the fuck does that? But I know how Katie feels because it's the same shit that goes off in my house. And they know that I'm crazy and they know how I get. So I don't understand why they continuously do the same shit to me. Like if I don't like the shit and I'm cussing y'all out, threatening to kick y'all out and have kicked y'all the fuck out. Why do you keep doing the same shit? Like that shit is irritating to your soul. Like clean up. And then when you have grown ass folks, like my kids are grown too. But when you have grown, grown, grown motherfucking folks, then it's an issue. Like so you wouldn't do this at your own motherfucking house. But you will come here and you will do that shit. I hate a dirty ass motherfucking microwave. That shit is nasty to me. I think it's so disgusting. I get really pissed off when my microwave is dirty because I scrub that shit. And I have a little thing inside of it to where you put it over the food so it doesn't splatter all over. I have bought about four of them from the Dollar Tree because I need, when one is dirty, here's another one. Because there's no excuse for anything. There's really no excuse. And if that ain't dirty, here's a big fucking bowl. Put that shit the fuck over it, Okay. <laughs> Either way, her in-laws were supposed to have been gone. First of all, when your husband told you that they're only going to be here for three months until they clean out the apartment, it don't take three months to clean out nobody's fucking apartment. Who the fuck was living in there? Okay, homeless people? Okay? I'm all for helping parents, and I would help my mom out too, but I'm sorry. Three months that turned into over a year and a half, almost, we're not going to go there. It's time for you to move out. And if you have constantly, 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 constantly complained about it and said things about it and he has not changed it and they're still doing this shit to you, maybe it is time for you to leave. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes people don't take you seriously. And I'm going to say this like this. And I say this because I remember when I used to be married, which was not that long ago, and I would say to my husband, if you don't stop drinking, I'm leaving you. And I would say this constantly to him. And it seemed like he didn't take me serious because if he really would have taken me seriously, he would have stopped drinking, right? So the only time that he really took me seriously is when I left and moved here. That's when he took me seriously. And so now he has changed his ways and now he wants to be back with me and I have to divorce you to do all this shit. But it's so fucked up that you have to go through drastic measures for someone to see that I'm fucking serious about this shit and you need to take me serious so as many times have you have as many times as you have said to your husband your parents need to go your parents need to go and they're not leaving and he's constantly making excuses he's not really taking you seriously and if you are in an uncomfortable environment, an uncomfortable situation, why continuously carry on being in that uncomfortable situation? Me, personally, if it were me, I would have been fucking left. Or, I would have kicked your ass the fuck out. A bitch like me is quick to kick a motherfucker out. If you in my shit, and you not respecting my shit, and you not respecting me, you getting the fuck out. I'm not dealing with nobody's fuckery, okay? I'm not dealing with it. That's what we gonna call this video. I'm not dealing with nobody's fuckery. Because, let me tell you something. I'm not, look, I'm not dealing with nobody's Fuckery. Okay? Um, I'm not dealing with nobody's fuckery because I have to deal with my own fuckery. All right? And I say this freely because I'm a human being and I got some fucked up ways and I got some fucked up shit that I do to people or just in general in life. It, like I said, ain't nobody fucking perfect. So if I have to deal with my own fuckery and bullshit, why the fuck do you think that I should deal with your fuckery and bullshit? I'm no, no, I'm not. Why is my titties not sitting there? I need a better bra on, okay? But no, I'm not gonna deal with anybody else's bullshit and fuckery. And if your husband cannot take you seriously and help his parents move the fuck on with their lives, then what you need to do is let him take you seriously and make him take you seriously. So if you have to go and move back to your father's house where there is comfort and peace and cleansiness and respect, then by all means, my dear, do that because as long as you allow this to continue it's going to motherfucking continue i'm sorry i i tell you this 
I hate cleaning up after motherfuckers. I say that shit all the time. When I be cleaning up my house and deep cleansing and doing all this shit, do you know why I'm cleaning up and doing all that? Do you know I'm cursing everybody the fuck out? Loud and clear. I'm cursing you the fuck out real loud so all these motherfuckers in my house can feel guilty and get the fuck up out of their rooms and do shit. And trust and believe, if you don't feel guilty quick enough, when I want you to feel guilty, a bitch will open your motherfucking room door and be like, you're not about to sit up in here and fucking think that you, it's all about you because if you don't take this motherfucking garbage out and clean your bathroom and do this and do that, then you can get the fuck up out of my house. I curse our motherfuckers out up in here. That's what I do. But if you don't want to be on that team, curse a motherfucker out, because you've already been fed up, then what you need to do is make your husband take you seriously. Because I'm pretty sure that he don't want to live without you. Okay? Because if it were me, I would rather be with my spouse than my parents. Because we grown-ups. Okay? So, you have to make him take you seriously. And I'm sorry, but if his parents are disrespectful and don't respect you and your ways and your shit, then it's time to take your shit and get the fuck out. And then watch your husband realize, like, look, mom and dad... You're going to have to go. You're going to have to move the fuck out. And you're going to have to go and find your own place. Trust and believe that shit will get done real motherfucking quick. Okay? First of all, I've already had issues with in-laws. Y'all motherfuckers know that my ex-husband and his mother and his sister, they don't like me and I don't like them. And at first, I allowed them to walk all over me and talk to me like, like not shit, because you ain't about to talk to me like shit. But I allowed, this, I allowed you to say little fucking things. And I allowed you, because if I didn't allow you, you would, you would really motherfucking hate me. But now that they know what type of person April really fuck is, like, I'm, I got tired of being Becky. I got tired of being Sarah. Okay, eventually I got tired of that shit. So now they know, oh, this bitch is crazy. She's really a nigga, and we're not going to fuck with her. It doesn't matter if she's light-skinned. She's a bitch. And they didn't like me because, for one, I think because I'm light-skinned. And they're dark-skinned women. And, you know, like, it's unfortunate that some dark-skinned women don't like light-skinned women. And I hate that because, or some light-skinned women don't like dark-skinned women. I hate that. It's We're all black, okay? Maybe not everybody that's watching this video, but we're all human. How about we just put it like that? And it doesn't matter what color our skin is. At the end of the day, at any motherfucking day, we all struggling. We all got to struggle. Maybe not all of us, but some of us. But at the end of the day, what my point is, we all bleed the fuck fucking same so I don't really fuck with my in-laws and I damn sure wouldn't let let me tell y'all something if I was to live with my husband and he needed his mother and his sister to somewhere to stay them bitches would be at the motherfucking shelter okay point blank period them bitches would be at the motherfucking shelter because you're not staying with me and I'm not gonna put up with anybody's foolishness and fuckery so what you need to do Katie is pack your shit up while your husband is at work we're gonna be gonna get down and grimy okay and go back home to your dad because he's not taking you serious and sometimes it's unfortunate but we have to make people take us serious we have to make motherfuckers take us serious because if we don't they will walk all over us. And they will think that shit is sweet and funny when it's not. Like, you either going to take me seriously or you're not. But I'm not about to live up in my house and be nobody's fucking maid and be cleaning up after nobody. Catching bugs, cleaning, and scrubbing. Let me tell you something. I get to the point in my own house where I'll be like, you know what? I'm not doing a fucking thing. What I do is I end up spazzing off on everybody. And then they be looking at me like... That's how they be looking at me. They think I'm crazy in here. I know my kids be talking shit about me. I know this, okay? I'm pretty sure they be talking shit about me. Like, she crazy, she mean. She always spazzing off on somebody. What the fuck is wrong with her? You can say all that shit you want in your motherfucking head to yourself. But the first moment you say that shit to me, I'm going to crack your motherfucking skull wide the fuck open, okay? So, Katie, I understand how you're feeling. Because I have that shit going on and on and on and on in here. And there have been so many times that I have said to my two eldest. Well, I have three older ones. But the two eldest that live here, the 21-year-old and the 19-year-old. I have told them so many times, you know what? I'm about fucking sick of y'all. Y'all don't respect nobody. I pay 85% of shit. Y'all don't even clean up after yourselves. I'm not picking up after your child that's two years old. Because he's not my motherfucking child. He's my grandson. I don't have to pick up after him. You know what I have told them? That I'm going to go and get me an apartment. And y'all. I'm not gonna come live with me. Y'all better find your own shit. And when I say shit like that, then they be like, Oh, there's something wrong with her. You should have said that. You don't want us to be living there. 
That's what they start doing. But and then you know what I said? Well, I ain't nobody your motherfucking merry maids. Y'all bitches don't fucking pay me to clean up after y'all. Fuck y'all. I spaz is out. Like I go in on a motherfucker. Okay. I goes in. So in my opinion. I, if it were me, I would have been left. I would have left because I, I'm not, a, I'm sorry, but I'm not about to let my in-laws live with me for over a fucking year and a half. Unless they fucking got Alzheimer's and all type of fucking old people diseases. But if y'all motherfuckers is capable of cleaning up after yourselves and making shit in the microwave and dumb shit like that, best believe get your own motherfucking shit and move the fuck on, Mary Poppins. Move the fuck on. So in my opinion, yes. Pack your shit the fuck up and go back home to your family where you got peace of mind. Don't let nobody irritate you. Don't let nobody piss you the fuck off. And damn sure don't put up with nobody's fuckery. I'm just saying. I'm just motherfucking saying. Yes. So... On that note, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this real talk, and I will post all of the information below for the soaps as well as that. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday, and don't be on social media, screenshot my motherfucking bro to talking motherfucking shit, okay? Because I'm pretty sure if y'all bitches see me up in person, you wouldn't try to say no slick shit like some people I know that just be on here talking about, I unsubscribe to you. And I thought you should know. I should have said, okay, and your point is, bitch. With a smiley face. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Stay deep and delicious. Leave your comments below. And I'll see y'all in a soon video.